Hello everyone, Reefer Gill here. In this video, I wanted to compare aqua controllers, that of the Neptune Apex and the Digital Aquatics Reef Keeper Lite. I recently made a purchase from Craigslist and I will be upgrading my Reef Keeper Lite to the Neptune Apex uh, standard. We'll go ahead and go over some of the pros and cons of each controller and the reasons why I decided to do this upgrade. Okay, the first comparison I want to make between the Apex and the Reef Keeper are the displays. The display on the left here is going to be for the Apex. You can see it has the date and time, temperature, and nice large numbering, the pH, and then all the controls that are uh, functioning off of the Apex. And then on the right we have the Reef Keeper and you can see uh, the day, the time and uh, pH but to get to temperature and the other options I have to come up to the controller and click up and down on these. So as far as display goes, um, the wind goes to the apex as far as my opinion goes because everything that I need to know about the tank is immediately displayed on the larger screen of the apex in addition to that these blue LED lights here can get pretty bright when the lights are off and you're sitting down watching TV and it's not dimmable whereas the apex the screen is not only dimmable but I can fully customize what I want displayed on the display of the apex so that's pretty cool too Here's a shot of my Reef Keeper currently running my system. The power strips for the Reef Keeper are the two middle ones with the LEDs displayed on the ends of the power strips. I really like how Digital Aquatics allows its users or customers to be able to split these two power bars up so that I can put one in one area of the stand and the other in another area if I choose to do that. Here's the SL1. This controls my uh, pH. It has a temperature probe plug-in. It also has uh, the ability to plug in two float switches and an ORP probe. The temperature probe in this system is actually plugged into the end of one of these bars here. Right now you can see that my reef keeper is controlling my skimmer, my pumps, my fan, alkalinity dosing pump, auto top off, the, you can see what that says, the heater, the power strip down below, and my calcium dosing pumps. It's done a fantastic job so far, it's never failed me, but I do have reasons for the upgrade to the Apex and I'll explain those. Okay, this is what you get when you purchase the Apex standard. You'll get the Energy Bar 8, the Apex controller which is the brain of the operation here. You can see my Ethernet cables plugged in. You'll get a pH probe and a temperature probe. Of course you'll get your heads up display unit. And currently I have it configured to run these pieces of equipment here as you can see what's labeled on them. The Aka controller, the newer ones, the design's a little different. This one's black. The design looks more like a white background like this right here. This is a WXM and this is what's going to wirelessly communicate with my Vortex pump. And then this is a, a breakout box. This, this is going to communicate with my Aka controller as far as the positioning of my float switches and then what to do as far as turning on or off equipment based on that. So I uh, will be hooking those two pieces of equipment up to the Apex standard and running those as well. These are obviously extra optional pieces that I purchased off of uh, Bulk Reef Supply. The options are endless as far as what you can use this Apex for. Uh, if you log on to Bulk Reef Supply enter Apex and you'll have a laundry list of different options uh, that you can or different modules that you can purchase for this Apex. I want to compare the differences between the dashboard 
for the reef keeper and the dashboard for the apex currently we are looking at the reef keepers dashboard now the only way you could connect to the reef keepers dashboard is to actually physically connect this USB plug that came from digital aquatics and then run the wire up to the SL1 and connect it up there otherwise you will not be able to get on the reef keepers dashboard everything that you can do on this dashboard here you can also do manually on the reef keepers head unit it just makes it a lot easier when you have it up on the computer here uh, unfortunately the cable that runs to the SL1 is really short so you have to be pretty close to your uh, your tank to get onto the dashboard for the reef keeper but here's the lower PC4 and the pieces of equipment I'm running the auto top off heater power strips calcium doser and then the amount of amps that particular strip is pulling and then over on the right for each piece of equipment you could hit the setup button and then go ahead and set up the piece of equipment as you desire it to run the setup feature will pop up and then you just go through the options and then over on the left here is where you'll switch from uh, each PC4 so we can go to the top one here and now we're at the top PC4 that's running my skimmer my pumps my fan alkalinity doser and the amount of amps it's pulling let's take a look at the dashboard for the apex before I get started on the dashboard for the Apex, I want to give a really big shout out to Ron. His YouTube channel is reef to view I'll put a link up so you can check it out. But he helped me out a great deal on setting up the dashboard. As you can see, the dashboard does have live video stream. I am using a Foscam camera. That part I actually set up on my own, um, so it was pretty easy to do. The tiles on the side of the video are the pieces of equipment that my Apex will be running. I have up here a dashboard. You can have up to four different customized dashboards. Your graphs, it's going to be flat because my Apex has not been running, so it's flat. But otherwise, it would have been showing me the ups and downs and the swings of my pH and my temperature. Um, configuration is all just about the display setup, outlet setup, and so on. And then back to the dashboard. Um, if I want to edit a piece of equipment from abroad, I just click on it and then edit it and do what I need to do to make the changes, and it will immediately make that change to that piece of equipment here at home. Also, it will give me the status report or status update of each piece of equipment. And I have the ability to turn on and off any piece of equipment from abroad as well. I can access the dashboard from anywhere around the world so long as I have internet access. Uh, Apex also does have this phone application, which I'm sure most of you have already seen on other channels but I can also make changes by turning on and off equipment off of my app. The Apex dashboard is far superior over that of the Reef Keeper for obvious reasons. One of the main reasons is that I can actually have total control of my system from a remote location and also be able to view my system with the live video stream. All right, my Apex has been up and running for a couple of weeks now. Everything's been working great, no problems. We'll take a look underneath the stand. See there, the Energy Bar 8. The Aqua Controller. The Breakout Box, which is controlling the float switch and the WXM which is wirelessly communicating with my MP40. So every couple of hours my MP40 will change a to a different cycle um, to whatever I have it programmed to and it will go from tidal mode to reef crest etc. So that's pretty cool. I don't have to be here to manually change it and at night it will automatically go to night mode. 
Here's a Foscam I'm using to remotely view my system. It's the Foscam FI8910W. I purchased it from Amazon.com for about 60 or 80 bucks, right around there. It does have its own application on the phone. I'll show you how it works. Uh, let me back the camera up a little bit. But the uh, application allows you to control the head of the unit, excuse me, left or right, up or down. Also has volume. So we'll go ahead and turn this. You see the FOSS cam in the background turning. We'll test out the audio. Test out the audio. Um, and it also has up and down. You see it in the background. It does not have zoom, but it does have IR for night vision. So that's the camera I'm using. Just thought I'd show you guys real quick. So my Apex is up and running. The update came just in time before my next vacation, which is coming up very soon. This video was not intended to bag on the Reef Keeper. The only reason I upgraded to the Apex because the Apex gives me more flexibility and control over my system from afar. I do want to give a shout out to another YouTuber who had issues with his original channel. The original channel's name was Aquatic Nagel. He has now named it aqua tang he has a 220 saltwater tank and a 75 gallon planted tank so go check out his channel I'll put a link up if you guys are interested in purchasing my reef keeper light plus I am selling it you can send me a personal message otherwise I'll be selling it here locally on Craigslist if you guys have any questions or comments please write them down below and don't forget to subscribe thanks